When someone goes missing, all you have are images of them on the internet. When people die, going on their Facebook seems like the next thing to do. It's kind of insane. I do it all the time. But this story is not about death. It's about running away. Literally on a bus, I don't know where I'm going, fuck that guy, and fuck the 346 unread emails in my inbox too. Hey, where are you? Everyone is freaking out. This isn't funny. Everyone's been calling you and is going straight to voicemail. I hope you're not doing what you did last time. Call me. Wait, I forgot to mention. I stole someone's baby. No, I'm kidding. Can you imagine? No, it wasn't a random baby. It was my cousin's baby, and I just needed it for, like, a performance thing I was doing called Give Me Money or My Baby and I Will Starve. I was using the baby as a means to literally take money from strangers to feed my, wait for it, weed addiction. I'm just kidding. You can't get addicted to weed. Or can you? This is Fed Loan Servicing calling with an important message. You can visit us online at myfedloan.org or return our call to 1-800-699-2908. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Collection agencies tried to help. They were so nice. They were like, if you don't pay us, your credit will be ruined forever and we're going to kill your mom. It was so weird. And I was like, imagine caring about your credit in the year 2017 when the world is literally burning. But no, credit is very important. You literally won't be able to do shit if you don't have good credit. Think of it as America giving you a gold star next to your name every time you pay your bills. And if you don't, they literally murder your mother. I don't know if people know this. Anyway, the point is, it was important and I was fucked. So I did the only thing left to do. I killed myself. Just kidding. I got a job as a social media coordinator for some stupid company that made robes. Like, that's all they did. Just robes. Not even towels. Just robes. I stopped showing up after three weeks. And then I killed myself. No, I'm just kidding. You need to call me. I'm tired of leaving messages. You can't run from this. Everyone is pissed and we're going to find you eventually. It'll be easier if you just call me back. what happened next let's see i voted for bernie sanders in the primaries thought about becoming a cam girl did research on becoming a cam girl decided it was too much work to become a cam girl sex work is like serious shit and i'm lazy and entitled that's not sexy i'm totally frustrated i came here at five at the end of the conference to meet people and you haven't replied to me at all and i don't think you can Consider yourself indigenous if you can't respect elders. It's one of the most basic indigenous principles, respecting elders, communication with elders. Nobody wanted to give me money, but everyone wanted to pick my brain, if you will. I was invited to speak at a conference, which I had to pay for myself. Anyway, I was invited to speak about what it was like making videos on the internet. Maybe I didn't think I deserved to be there, or maybe I was too lazy to get out of bed that day, maybe both. I don't really remember, but the point is, I didn't show up. I didn't tell anyone I wasn't coming, and when they called my name, I wasn't there. Oops. So, um, I don't know what to say. I hope I haven't wasted my time coming here. I can't even find out where you are. You won't answer my messages. 
it's just total disrespect to the Navy. Ugh, when will all the baby boomers die? <laughs>